Good morning, everyone. Getting things started a little earlier today because today is a special day. Today, um, celebrating my mom's birthday. And to know me is to know that I am a mama's girl. So I will be doing it up for my mom in a little bit. I fix breakfast, and I need to go to the store to get a few things. So. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get Soul Food Sunday started again. Welcome for those of you who are joining for the first time. Thank you for joining us. And for those of you who are returning, thank you for coming back. Um, so let me tell y'all what I did. <clears throat> I recorded a video already. And in the midst of um deleting some things in my phone so that i could have more storage i deleted the damn video so we started no and um it was a really good message so we're gonna see i'm gonna use the same deck that i used in that reading which is the alice in wonderland um oracle cards and i'm um, curious to see if we're gonna get the same or some of the same messages from spirit um i hope that you guys have had an awesome weekend but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started you know we don't we don't go in and ask god for a message without thanking him for what he's already done so we're gonna start with prayer so father god mother earth ancestors and spirit guides we thank you right now for all that you are for all that you've done we thank you for your love and light we thank you for each and every message you have allowed us to encounter throughout this week. Now, God, we ask that you bring forth the best messages for the highest good of all of those under the sound of my voice for this week. Giving them nourishment on this day. God, I ask that you speak through me to them. Thank you and amen. So, all right, let's see what, what the message for this week is. See what's in store for us as a collective. Okay, that looks like two. So we really don't have to go. Oh my God! Seriously? Okay. At the top we have choices, and at the bottom we have mortality, which is one of the cards that came out in the original reading that I recorded. All right, let's see what these two talking about. <clears throat> I think that's two. Damn. This one came out too. Y'all think it's a game. And that one came out too. Man, look. All right, let's do this. So look, <clears throat> three out of the four cards and I had four cards to come out in the last reading um, are the same as the last reading and I shuffled these cards and everything okay now that I am just totally blown away for the day um, let's go ahead and get into the message so we have number six choices feeling blocked and restrained I'm sure we all can connect with that because as we are all sitting in the 159th day, hell, it's probably been more of quarantine, um, we all are feeling blocked and restrained and like our choices are, are limited. And so if that's not going to change this week, I can very much see that being a, a factor in our week. But number six there were doors all around the hall but they were all locked and when alice had been all the way down one side and up the other trying every door she walked sadly down the middle wondering how she was ever to get out again when we are changing in order to find our own personal wonderland we need to keep the momentum going in whatever area of life the magic of change is arriving this means leaving the in-between lands of the idea and entering into the choices we must make to move forward. It may seem to you 
as it does to Alice, that each choice presents a potential problem, that there is not one clear choice or way to go. Each door is locked, too small, impossible to open or to even fit through, but Alice had not yet found the way. You too are on the road to finding the way to unlock the opportunities that are all about you. It may also be that various tests of courage will reveal the key to the door which will see you enter Wonderland. Right now, you have choices. Each of them may seem to have one or more drawbacks or obstacles. You feel that if you do not know how to get through to the other side, perhaps you are not meant to go there at all. But look about you. There are solutions. There are ways through. You can create the next step, but you must be brave and willing to try something very new. And then you must be ready to deal with the uncertainty taking this step shall bring. If you peek through the keyhole, as Alice does, you will see the doorway leads to the loveliest garden you can imagine. You must find a way through because the delights that lie on the other side are worth this test. The challenge is how to reach this place. You may need to grow smaller. You may need to grow larger. You may need to change yourself in ways that initially seem very strange to you. This card represents choosing which way to go, a moment of decision, uncertain of what is best for, or what to do next, feeling like each door is closed, wanting to reach the next stage of your life, but not seeing a single way through. For a lot of us, for a lot of you, will be faced with choices this week and we may already know about them it may not be anything that's going to be a surprise but we'll be faced with choices this week where we feel like we really don't have a lot of options or that we're at a dead end and this card is just calling for us to take our time and look deeper think outside of the box when we're feeling restrained don't be afraid to uh get advice from other people to because maybe they will provide some other options for you this card is blowing my mind because it basically talks about the choices we deal with when we are changing or transforming during yesterday's um power of the pause i did a uh card pull from the power of love deck and the card that we got was transformation because this time that we're in is calling for us to transform we're being called to change in some way or in all ways um and it's up to us to use this time wisely to see what ways that that those are how are we being called to change what is it that we need to change what is it going to take for us to make that change and i'm even more blown away because in the original video that i did the one that my ass deleted by mistake um I had all of these three cards and then the fourth card was falling which represented change momentum transformation so there's a lot of synchronicity this is the message from God I mean I didn't doubt it at first but to get the same pretty much the same cards and the same message in a different reading is bonkers but we can't question question the power of God because when he wants the message to go forth it's gonna go forth it don't matter how you shuffle those cards what cards you use how you use them what mood you in you when you use them where you at when you use them it's gonna be what it's gonna be so the next card is number 42 mortality and mortality um the message of mortality is the life is brief bright beautiful and yours to live and because i've already explored this card in the other um uh, reading i can tell you right now that this card is telling us that yeah we have time but we don't have all day we are all called here to do something and whatever it is that we're called here to do um it is our responsibility to connect with God and explore that. Ask the questions that you need to ask. Take the time out that you need to take time out um, to go within and connect with God and connect with yourself and figure out what it is that you're here to do because you don't have time to waste. You want to put yourself in situations and experiences where um, you are producing just that, things that are conducive to just that, your life's calling. You want to live your life to the fullest. You want to spend your days uh, happy and in bliss because 
we're on borrowed time. We ain't got all day to be out here playing with people. We're meant to have fun. I'm not saying that you're supposed to be serious all the time. But we're being called to be mindful that our candle will go out one day. We are not immortal. In this lifetime, we have uh, an agenda. And if we don't know what that agenda is, then we need to invest in figuring that out and be conscious of our resources and the people we surround ourselves with and the experiences and atmospheres that we have uh, or are in um, if they're not conducive to doing that. So I really don't even have to read from the book on that one, but I'm going to do it anyway because I love y'all. Um, mortality. If that their king was to wake, added Tweedledum, you go out, bang, just like a candle. I shouldn't, Alice exclaimed indignantly. Life is, as Tweedledum points out, a strange thing where we can go out in just a moment. None of us knows how long we have, and no matter what we believe or tell ourselves, we are all mortal in this form. This lifetime is just one brief, bright jewel. Alice denies this, but it is the truth. We are all mortal and we all pass. We must know this so we can hold on to the precious gift that is this existence. When this card comes, it does not mean you're about to pass. It is, it is not a card of death, but a reminder of the beauty and fragility of this existence. It urges us all to take this life and make it as beautiful, as meaningful, and as full of adventure as we can. Too many of us live as if this life is a burden awaiting another lifetime or a heaven which will save us from the difficulties and challenges of being mortal instead of living as if there is forever or a better place to go to or as if other lifetimes or existence in the afterlife will be better live like this life is all you have live like this is the very best you can ever experience live like this is the greatest blessing the most treasured gift you could ever have been given Life like this life is heaven, and your very existence is a miracle of creation because we can and we will go out like a candle someday. And when that takes place, the only true measure of a soul is what we did here with this priceless gift of human life. This card represents appreciation of existence, relishing being alive, making the most of every moment accepting mortality in ourselves and in others living in the present and feeling joy at being alive this card reminds me of uh that j cole song no such thing as a life that's better than yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours no such thing no such thing heart beating fast let a nigga know that he arrived snakes in the grass some shit like that love jay but uh i just woke up but yeah there's no such thing than a life that's better than yours and because we don't have time to waste um pouting about or being ungrateful about the life that we have you being called to be grateful for the life and the time that you have and make the most of it period poo so the next card, number 43, for the second time, is manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions, which really goes hand in hand, in hand with the other two cards because even when we find ourselves in situations where choices are few, we feel like we there's uh, closed doors all around us or we've reached a dead end, you got to be happy even though in those circumstances because that's how you're going to figure out, find out, uh, appreciate or even recognize where the open door is or where the way out is maybe your way out ain't through a door maybe it's through a window but if you're sad about it if you're negative about it if you're walking around with a negative perspective you're not going to tap into the fact that hey it was never meant for me to get out through the door it was meant for me to take the window it was meant for me to take the stairs it was meant for me to climb through the roof through the chimney what what have you you know what i'm saying this card also tells us to manage to be glad even though we know that we're not gonna be here forever you know my i lost my nephew at 11 years old and when i was at the uh 
funeral and then like they had several memorials for him it was amazing to me how at 11 years old how much he had impacted um people's lives adults and children he was such a mannerable little boy and that is one of the things that i loved about him because he really stood out at his age even prior to being turning 11. he was always that little boy that opened doors and pulled out chairs for the ladies and he was just a cool kid and um even though he was only on this earth in this lifetime for 11 years he made a major impact in his community and he made a major impact in my life because not knowing that he was only going to be here for 11 years, nephew lived his best life. He did his thing. He let his light shine. So that's, if if, if you take nothing else from this reading, um, you definitely should take, you know, letting my nephew Tristan be the example for you. Like, move forward in a way that says, you know, I'm grateful for the life that I live. I love the life that I live. I thank God for the life that I live. And I want to help enrich somebody else's life. Because like my girl Tia Brown say on, on IG, love her. Um, have a good day. And if you're not going to have one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's. I personally don't want to be responsible for nobody's bad day. Now, how, now, if you want the smoke, you can get it. I'm going to say that. Then I'm going to step back out of my ego and say from a very heartfelt spiritual place i don't want to be responsible for ruining anybody today definitely not intentionally so you want to manage to be glad and create your own happiness regardless of conditions and what that says also is create your own happiness you're responsible stop putting your happiness in other people's hands nobody else is responsible for making us happy but we like to pass the book because guess what if we blame it on somebody else give somebody else that responsibility not only is it unfair but it takes the responsibility off of us and then we don't have to deal with our mess but you're gonna keep on being in that cycle you're gonna keep on being unhappy until you take responsibility for your happiness and that reminds me of something that um that iyanla used to say about um holding people accountable for something that they're not capable of that's not love if if you know a person's not capable of, of uh, giving you something but you still hold them accountable for doing that that's actually very cruel if they're not able they're just not able and people are not able to make sure that you're happy all the time so I'm gonna I don't really have to read that one either but we are gonna I'm committed to this thing so we're gonna get as much bread much knowledge as much wisdom from it as we can and I'm gonna go ahead and give you the, the description from the book so it says I wish I could manage to be glad the Queen said only I never can remember the rule you must be very happy living in this wood and being glad whenever you like the Queen is almost berating Alice imagining her to be happy whenever she wishes thinking that the business of being happy is simple. As the queen, she feels it's not simple for her, but she wants to manage to be glad, except, as she says, she cannot remember the rule. Is there a rule to happiness? Is there a way to manage to be glad? When this card comes to you, there are two possibilities, just as there are two slidey toes in the painting. The first is that others assume your life is simpler, easier, and that happiness comes more readily to you. There is the implication that they have it harder and must struggle to be happy. This is not the case at all. Your happiness has been earned. In some ways, you have created it by directing your thoughts and impulses toward the steady creation of happiness. The second possibility is that you must learn how to be happy. Having joy in our lives is not just good fortune, circumstance, or temperament. It comes through the careful management of our thoughts and deeds so that we nurture the possibility of joy and move ever close to happiness. Do not let others steal your joy or imply that being joyful means you are not as serious, deep, or hardworking as they are. Happiness is often hard-earned. We must find it amidst the most troubling of challenges. Alice has learned to do this despite being lost and everything around her being so unpredictable. 
we too can manage our happiness and defy those who claim it is more difficult for them. We can all do this, no matter our lot in this lifetime. This card represents your happiness being in your own hands. It's something which can be managed, nurtured, and grown. Acknowledgement that life can be very difficult and challenging, but you are being asked to grow the happiness you long for out of your magical will and desire to feel joy once again. Child, let me tell you something. All right. <clears throat> if you have a testimony like mine, and if you don't know me personally, then you don't know my testimony. And I would be all day giving it to you. So I'm not going to go there. But I will say, like all of us, I've been through some things. And I have put in the work to climb out of those ruts each and every time. With the help of God, first and foremost. And with the help of family and friends being supportive. But it was hard. Hard as fuck. So, why would I allow somebody else who had no input into creating the happiness and joy that I now feel, who had no, uh, no idea that I've even experienced these things, or no sympathy for it if they do know that I've been through these things, why would I allow this person to steal my joy or my happiness or to play a part in whether or not I'm having a good day. Girl, bye. I bet not. You are the manager, the facilitator, the king and queen of your joy. You are responsible for your happiness. Therefore, this week, as you go throughout this week and you encounter people, people, what's a peeper? I think I just turned into Tyler Perry, Medea, right quick. But anyway, um, as you go through this week, don't allow people to gauge whether or not your happiness. And in my experience, I have found that the best way to stay centered and stay happy regardless of what's going on around you, the best way to maintain that is through meditation. Taking some time out to get centered and get clear about what kind of day you want to have, what kind of day you are going to have, regardless of what's going on. And to really get in touch and tap in with your inner guidance system and set an intention for your day. That is the, the absolute best way to go out into this world and deal with the different things that come your way. You may have your day planned out to a T, but we all know that more often than not, something's going to happen where even for a brief moment, something's going to steal your joy. I mean, it could just be driving in traffic and somebody cuts you off. Next thing you know, they bees, ages, a-holes, this, that, and the third. And you've allowed your vibration to drop. We've allowed, because, honey, my little road rage. I'm in that pot, too. Um, but that's that's like... We have control over that. As much as we feel like we don't because that's been our habit all of this time, we do. And you don't want to waste your precious candlelight on those kind of moments. You want to be managed to be glad regardless of the conditions. We're all in quarantine. We're all in hibernation. Spring has basically turned into winter for us in a way. And we need to, in order to keep our vibes high in order to keep our immune systems high remain happy throughout these times as much as you can and i'm not saying being be phony or fake about it you know what i'm saying if you feel the kind of way by all means express it you need to allow that to come out of out of you so that you can move toward happiness so you know i say embrace how you're feeling but try to push toward happiness joy gladness um, through these tough times and any any personal tough times that you're going through push through manage to be glad so our last card is number 13 all must have prizes trying to please everyone and because this card was pulled for the second time i can go ahead and give you more insight on it even though intuitively i already know what this card represents stop people pleasing you cannot please everybody so this week we're going to go through some things we're going to be um faced with some choices that uh, are going to involve having to choose ourselves or choose pleasing others 
don't never bet against yourself i'm not saying be selfish but always make sure that your cup is full before you start giving because you're supposed to give from your overflow period when your cup runneth over you're not only blessed for yourself and your needs and wants are taken care of but you have what it takes to bless other people's needs and wants and you even need to be discerning with that but you do not want to be people pleasing especially not at the expense of your own happiness you need to be happy regardless of conditions whether they like you or not whether they're gonna be your friend or not whether they're gonna talk to you or not whether they're gonna hire you or not whether they're gonna work with you or not let them know i have joy and this joy that i have the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away okay so what the book says for all must have prizes <clears throat> I know this card also describes like group think in a way you know like say you hang with a clique a group of people you have a bond with one person more than the others regardless of how those others feel that's nothing to be ashamed of you don't have to treat everybody the same you treat people accordingly according to the position that they hold in your life i'm not saying be mean to them you want to treat everybody with kindness and integrity however if the love is with that one person that's nothing to be ashamed of i liken that to going to get a, a combo at a burger restaurant i personally can pull up to the drive-thru get me a burger on full especially depending on my appetite i don't really need the fries and the drink so if you clicked up like that, but you, you got your hamburger, that, that person that gets you full, I mean, the fries and the um, the um, drink just complimentary. You know what I'm saying? They come, they can come with the combo or they could not. But I'm not going to get the fries and the drink without the hamburger. That's my main course right there. That's like my main item. So it is what it is. And when you treat people all the same, trying to be, for some of us, we have the good intentions. We're trying to be fair. I mean, somebody's going to get the reward that does not deserve it. And who has that to waste? My candle could go out at any moment. I need to be allotting all my resources, all my time, my energy, my emotions to people who deserve it, to people who nurture it, to people who appreciate it. So don't feel bad about treating everybody accordingly. Your A1, your day one ain't going to be the same as old girl from Thursday. You don't treat them the same. You treat them accordingly. So this one says, at last, the dodo said, everybody has won and all must have prizes, but who is going to give the prizes? Quite a chorus of voices asked. Why she, of course, said the dodo, pointing to Alice with one finger, and the whole party at once crowded round her, calling out in a confused way, prizes, prizes. While it seems like a lovely message, how wonderful for everyone to have won and to have prizes. There's a hidden shadow to this card, for there is no winning if all have won, and there is no prize if all have acquired the same thing. In other words, there does not seem to have been a test of excellence here, merely an exercise which seems to have tested people. But at the end of the day, they will all get the same reward. This card can come to those who are tasked with evaluating the work of others and are trying to choose who has done well. It can come to parents, to teachers, and judges. This card can also come to those who wish to please everyone and do not wish to fall out of favor. Thus, they will proclaim that everyone has done very well and offer prizes to each and all to avoid the discomfort of true assessment. It is hard to have to decide to make a choice and to know to whom a victory belongs. It is challenging to be discerning. We often prefer to be like the dodo, trying to make sure everyone is happy. When this card comes, consider the choices you have. <laughs> choices. Consider those choices. Consider the choices you have before you. Is it best to reward everyone in the same way? even if some have offered more than others? Is it better to reward those who have excelled either through effort or talent? Would you prefer just to give prizes to all and keep everyone happy? These are your choices at present, and it is up to you to decide which way is best. This card represents trying to keep everyone happy, treating everyone as equals, and rewarding those who have not worked hard. 
playing nice, wanting to please, and inability to choose who or what is best for you. Try to be fair, but avoiding difficult decisions is not fair on yourself. Maintaining illusions to avoid disappointing others. And that's what we're not going to do. Moving forward, in this time, we're being called to see through the illusion. The car from uh, transformation, the car from yesterday, that's what it was talking about. We're, we are being called to use love to see through the illusions that are presented uh, to us on a daily basis that we have presented to ourselves and to move into more awareness, more self-awareness. And to not only be aware, but to let that be our guidance system of how we move forward in dealing with people and dealing with ourselves and how we are conducting and navigating our lives and navigating the energies um, that we are encountering on a day-to-day -day basis. So with all of that being said, this week, many of us as a collective may very well possibly be faced with choices um, that feel like there are there's no way out or there's limited options we're being called to um, be mindful of the fact that our lives is just a candle and our candle could be go out at any moment at any moment we've lost so many people to COVID-19 whose candle went out and that was God's calling and I don't question God's will I don't question God's actions because I know that he has our best good in mind but as we are navigating throughout this life we need to keep in mind that um, a lot of things we're just being wasteful and, and we're being ungrateful and that we need to be more cognizant of the fact that we ain't got all day but while we are in this lifetime we need to manage to be glad regardless of what's going on around us regardless of what our circumstances or conditions are is and we need to also keep in mind that it's okay to not treat everybody the same and don't let anybody shame you for that everybody's not the same they don't treat you the same and if they do treat you the same as someone else and that someone is somebody that doesn't put forth as much effort then hey you may need that you need to address it because they may not know, they may not be aware, but then you need to be, you need, you may need to exit stage left on that. Reciprocity is important in any relationship. If you're not getting back what you give out, that's something that needs to be addressed. That's important. Love yourself first. So, with that being said, I'm encouraging you guys, like J. Cole said, love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Regardless of the choices, regardless of the mortality, regardless of the situations that challenge you to be glad, <clears throat> regardless of the people who require or want you to treat them in a way that they don't deserve to even be treated. They don't deserve that to your energy, your light. <clears throat> they don't deserve it. Don't give it to them. Alright y'all, y'all have a good week. I hope that something was said that blesses your heart. If you experience something through the week, please come back, watch the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your people about what's going on over here at the channel. And um, if you guys are in need of anything, I ain't got no money. But uh, feel free to reach out. I am doing personal readings at this time. So you can reach out to my email to schedule those. Check me out on Instagram at Turquoise Majesty. And until next time, peace.